Give me just a second to clean things up here. Okay, here we are. We've got a session of R running. Let me just uh, show you what we've got here. We've got that uh, CDC file from uh, Open Intro, and we're going to examine some things associated with it. <coughs> Remember that if we did uh, a head of CDC, it'll show us uh, what's involved here. We've got a, a number of columns. Each of those columns could be read as an individual vector. There are 20, uh, let's, let's look at this for a minute. Let's look at the length of, uh, of smoke one, uh, I'm sorry, the length of CDC dollar smoke 100. So what we're doing is is looking at that column smoke 100 as a vector and just asking how many items are there. There we are. We've got 20,000 uh, data points. 20,000 different babies were looked at in this particular study. Uh, what we'd like to do is consider the height and the weight. Now <clears throat> we're going to, to make a scatter plot of these so we need to kind of think which one of those are we going to use to predict the other one. I'm going to have the height predict the weight. So I'm going to look at the plot of CDC dollar height. That looks that that means that 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 vector is going to that, that column is going to be considered as a vector and CDC dollar weight. WHHT. Okay. That produces a, a plot. I'll pull it over here so that we can look at it. Remember, there are 20,000 little circles here. Um, in another video sometime, I'll talk to you about how to change the size of those circles. It might be interesting to have them look a little more like a dot instead of a, a great big circle. But there seems to be a, a linear correlation here, but it's not real close. It doesn't really fit a line really closely. And so I'd estimate this to be about a 0.5 uh, correlation. With practice, you can get pretty good at, uh, at estimating those. We'll look at that in a minute. <clears throat> so let's look at the linear model. The command is linear model. And we're thinking of CDC weight as being predicted by, that's the little tilde command, CDC height. G-I-G-H-T. Now what that does, it looks at those two vectors, thinking of the first one as the one that's getting predicted by the second one. So, so notice that things kind of get switched between that plot and that linear model sort of thing. This is the X and this is the Y. Whereas in the, the linear model, this is the Y and this is the X variable. Okay. So we call that particular thing, it tells us what the intercept of the line is. It's a negative uh, uh, 192 and, and this value right here is the slope of that particular line. Okay, we can <coughs> ask it to, uh, to, to uh, oh, let me do it this way. We just pull up that last command that we had. You can A, B line. If you've already plotted the scatter plot, then you can A, B line that quantity and have it uh, put right on top of the A, B line. Draws a, uh, a slope intercept line um, onto the scatter plot that has already been constructed. Then finally, one last thing that we'd like to do I'm going to just pull backwards until I get to that plot because I'm interested in the correlation between those two variables and sure enough it's a 0 0.55. Okay, some more descriptive statistics from R.